to mention this on your podcast. We do Woman Crush of the Week. Yes. Are you ready? I am. Who is your Woman Crush of the Week, Petra? All right. This is a lady who has a, a, a video blog on YouTube, Cassie Ho. Um, this, this was an article that I read just this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. She is, she does fitness videos, short little fitness videos. And I've, I've been subscribed to her channel for a long time and I don't usually read comments on YouTube. I mean, to me, sometimes they're just so biting that it's just nasty. So I don't, right. I don't get People into are that. Mean. Yeah. Well, on her channel, Blog Lattes, she kept receiving vicious comments about her weight and her appearance. And in response, she put out a video about changing her body, like to suit some of her viewers and everything. And she even, like, it's a professionally pro- produced video um, with a body double and everything. And it's, it's so sad. It is so sad. And even after doing this video, and it's obviously a different woman standing there at the end, there were people bragging on her about like how she made those changes. It's, it's just disturbing what, what people will say to, to personalities on YouTube or on podcasts and things like that. Anybody who creates and puts something out there, like there are trolls that will tear you down no matter what you do. And she's such a lovely lady. I just, I think the world of her and I love her, her short little fitness videos and everything. And I think this is a, a great video and we'll put a link to it. That would be great. Yes. Send me the link and I'll, I'll put it in the, the notes. I'm very familiar with Cassie. I have been following her a blog a or whatever it's called for yeah. a couple years as well. She's always upbeat and always positive and I haven't seen what you're talking about. So I'm very excited to see that and share that with our, our listeners. Yeah. She yeah. is. She is awesome. She is. She's one of those people where when you watch her videos, you're like, I can do this. I may be exhausted. I may not be motivated. But as soon as you hit play on her YouTube videos, you're like, yep, I got it. Yeah, she's so upbeat and so encouraging. And to hear that those internet trolls, those internet trolls, there should be internet police for those internet trolls. Because those internet trolls are just, they're mean girls from high school that never grew up. And then they get yeah. that, that internet protection and they just let it go. Well, it's, they're either women, men or women, you know, right. that just, oh, give me a break. What have you ever done? <laughs> right. <laughs> like right. <laughs> well, my woman crush of the week is Gis- Giselle Bunchen, Mrs. Oh, okay. Tom Brady. Uh-huh. Um, I didn't know if you knew, but she retired recently from the runway after 20 years of being a model. Oh, my God. She's been a model for 20 years? Yes. She said that she started when she was 14. She got the opp- opportunity to start the journey of modeling. Wow. And she did her last fashion show within the last couple of weeks. Um, but she's uh-huh. still going to be working in different facets of the business. Yeah. She earned... $47 million last year. Oh, my gosh. But she says that her body is telling her that it's time. It's time yeah. to, to give it up. Um, and recently, she's been called a tree-hugging supermodel. She has <laughs> partnered with Jennifer Garner okay. to um, promote uh, an organization called Just Label It. And there was an event in L.A. Um, recently where they got together to go against the food industry and ask them to identify GMOs or genetically modified food. Okay. Now, okay. for you, growing, uh, you know, living in eastern Kentucky, what yes. are the thoughts when it comes to GMOs? For me personally, I think they're kind of terrifying. I don't think we know enough about what those genes... I mean, we've been genetically modifying crops for years by selectively breeding them. That's one thing. But when we go in and play Dr. Frankenstein, I'm not sure if we know exactly what we're doing all the time. So it, it terrifies me. I have just, within the last couple of years, become aware of this. I don't know about you, like, this has been going on for years. Yeah. When did it come on your radar? Uh, probably with a Monsanto uh, documentary film that I watched several years ago. And it was talking about how they modify uh, crops so that um, the people have to buy seeds year after year after year so that, that it doesn't pollinate itself. So it doesn't, you know, that the seeds from the crops don't produce the next year. So it forces farmers to keep buying seed 
from the Monsanto Corporation. That was the first time I realized that they were really monkeying with turning genes on and off on these crops and everything. And I was like, oh my God, we don't really know what all that does. It's such a complex layered system. We're going in and just flipping switches left and right. I just, I'm like, oh wow, that boggles my mind. Do you guys have community gardens there? Since you live in an apartment, you probably don't have a garden out back. Do you have community gardens? Um, I think there are some around, but they're kind of out in the county and Mm -hmm. everything. So we don't have access right now. We're planning on building like a rooftop one eventually. Oh, that would be fun. We have dogs, so we don't have the ability to have a garden. But I (laughs) really would like one because, you know, Jennifer Garner said that her and her three kids grow a lot of their own food in a home vegetable garden. And I have friends that do that. And I'm like, I wish I had that. And I don't have a green thumb (laughs) at all. I don't either. I can kill a cactus. Yeah. I'm I'm torturing one right now. (laughs) Steve has to come home from time to time to make sure that the plants are surviving. Yeah. (laughs) Have you watered these? No. No, I have not. No. My grandmother was amazing. She had this amazing garden every summer. But it was, of course, like after she didn't have a job and like that was her life. And I don't have time for this. I don't either. But I always want to grow a garden. And and before I moved up here with Hank, I did have a small garden. And like what grew, grew. What didn't, didn't. Like at a certain point, I I quit taking care of it and would just go out and pick stuff every now and then be like, oh, here's a cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> my grandmother would get out there and like once the the vine started growing she'd put a post up and like they would grow all lovely and beautiful yeah one year um she planted the garden and then she um you know she was older she was in her mid-80s she had to go to the hospital and she's like here janet take care of the garden oh my god it no. was it was a mess <laughs> but oh, i was no. working and i, I blame that <laughs> i couldn't <laughs> that that's that's <laughs> why I couldn't do a garden. So then you go to the grocery store and you see the organic versus the regular and you see the difference. Yeah. You really do. And it yeah. and the price difference. Yeah, and I think in some cases it's it's nice to go ahead and buy the organic just to support that. If right. if I can afford it, sometimes I do, especially things like strawberries or something that you can taste a big difference. Yes. There were other things where I'm just like, um, yeah, green onions are green onions are green onions. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. No, I, I hear you completely. I'm glad we're on the same page because I, I do feel guilty when I do that. I'm like, oh, I'm glad no one's watching me as I shop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't judge but me. It, food budget is already just exorbitant. And it's getting big. Like I notice, like I'm buying the same things, but my yeah. grocery bill is going up and I, yeah. 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 And I think pretty soon, you know, it, it, it's going to be like who can afford to feed themselves well and who can't afford to feed themselves well. Cause it's already like, it's already so much cheaper to buy the garbage food, the hamburger helper yeah. versus, and the hot dogs and the, you know, versus the healthy stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is expensive to eat healthy food. It is. It is. Do you guys have like sprouts or do you have just like a regular grocery store there? Whole Foods. Uh, we, this is terrible. We have our choice. We can go to Kroger's or Walmart. Okay. <laughs> Which do you choose? It depends. Um, sometimes I take off and go to Sam's Club, which is like about a town away, something okay. like that. But they have a better choice of produce and things like that. So I, I lots of times will take take my grocery shopping to Sam's Club. Um, and it just depends on, on what I need, like where I go. Cause, cause they all stock different things and it's terrible that I remember, you know, where no, things are at. I'm the same store, way. But I do. I have my target list, my Walmart list and my King supers list, which is Kroger. Awesome. And awesome. yeah, I have to go to all three. I have not because it's just, you know, I, Steve and I, I can't in my head justify a Sam's Club or a Costco membership. Uh huh. Um, Steve had one when I first met him and I'm like, it's just the two of us. What are you thinking? But part of me wishes we didn't let that lapse <laughs> because well, I have heard their produce is a little bit better. It, it's good. The only thing is there's a lot of it. You buy a lot at one time and I don't know, I'm kind of getting burnout on some stuff right now. Like I've got the, the cutie 
Oh, they're like cantaloupes or something like that. I've, I've, they, I've had a bowl of those forever now, and I think the last 10 are just going to go to waste because I just can't I do eat that anymore. <laughs> I do that too. Um, now, growing up, cuties were called tangerines? I think maybe tangerines <laughs> or tangelos. I'm not sure if okay. they're like a cross between an orange and a tangerine or probably, if it's just tangerine. It's probably been genetically modified. Probably. <laughs> But yeah, growing up, like we had the oranges or we had the tangerines. And then I moved to Colorado and they're like, these cuties. And I was like, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> I And coming from Southwest Missouri, I'm like, no, okay, those are tangerines, but they're smaller. So I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Things just keep evolving. <laughs> but those are very convenient snack food options. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like... You can't eat so many of those that it's going to be bad for you. <laughs> right, right. I'm actually doing the Weight Watchers, and uh-huh. fruits and vegetables are like zero points. So oh, nice. I can eat all the fruits and vegetables I want, but I'm getting tired of the pears. I don't like apples. It's a uh-huh. texture thing, not a taste okay. thing. Uh-huh. And so I'm, I'm trying. I, I got sick of cuties last year. So okay. I, it's constantly trying to find something that I'm not bored with and that isn't crazy expensive. I love blueberries, but they're like five bucks a pound. And I'm like, nope, yeah, not, yeah. can't justify that. Yep, yep. <laughs> we we do splurge and get blueberries every now and then, but then we run into the problem where we're trying to save them. Yes. You know, like you don't want to. They're special. Yeah. And then they get molded and you're like, damn it, just eat them all at once. Just come in and shove them down your face. So I've started buying the frozen blueberries, which are not the same, but I will throw them into a Tupperware, take them to work. By the time my afternoon snack comes around, they're thawed and they're okay. They're not the same. They're not the same. Just a tip for you. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Now on Friday night, did you watch the Bruce Jenner interview? No, I didn't. I, uh, because Steve was, when Steve travels, I become a very big homebody, which I enjoy. I'm not complaining uh-huh. at all. It kind of is a big reset. And okay. I, I open Twitter and I'm like, what's going on? Thankfully, yeah. in being in Colorado, I'm like an hour or two behind everyone else. Okay. So everyone's tweeting about this Bruce Jenner interview. So like 10 minutes before it starts, I'm like, DVR record. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Have you been a Bruce Jenner, Kardashian follower ever? Not in particular, but you can't really avoid the Bruce Jenner. I don't even know what to call this right now. I mean, His, I, it's the Bruce Jenner movement because he's bringing yeah. to light this this world yeah. that maybe some people didn't know about. And, I mean, and I, I'm kind of shocked that people don't uh, because of um, all – the the lady in orange is the new black. I forget her. Is it Laverne or I know who you're talking about, and I don't know her name either. I don't know her name off the top of my head. I think she has been a great proponent for transgendered rights, and I mean, and it's something that I completely respect. I cannot imagine feeling that displaced and my heart goes out to anyone who's going through this, and I can't imagine being. Bruce Jenner, the Olympian, the guy in the spotlight, all eyes are on him as he transitions, I guess, into a her. I guess that's what he's planning on doing. He is considering it. He hasn't committed to it, but he, he okay. did say that he is considering it. And he's just, you know, first of all, he's in this Kardashian, keeping up with the Kardashian world, which is a world that you and I will hopefully never understand <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. that is, I was just, I, I got sucked into a keeping up with the Kardashian episode this morning when I was cleaning house. And I'm Ooh. just like, I don't, I don't understand you know, they have all this time on their hands in what I see. And now, yeah. it's come to find out, he is saying that he was, you know, born with the soul of a female. Uh-huh. He's still attracted to women, but says he's asexual for now. He's been married three times, has six children, biological children, and wow. four stepchildren. And I, it was hard for my mind to wrap itself around that idea on Friday night when I'm sitting there watching. I was like, I don't. I don't understand. Yeah. It's not something I've ever dealt with. Like, I've, the woman that's on Orange is the New Black, I've seen her. I've kind of heard of her. I haven't researched her story. You think, okay, born as a man, must be attracted to men because she wants to be a woman. But no. (laughs) 
I, I'm opening my eyes. I'm constantly getting my eyes opened, which is good. That means I'm not stuck and I'm not. I'm yeah, open to change yeah. and open yeah. to new ideas. Yeah. And he and Chris Jenner were married for over, like, I think, 25 years. Wow. I didn't realize it was that long. And she knew that he crossed. 